Welcome to the letter M, where we put a little M in your life. Starring Andrew Schroyer and Van Farrow. Here they are. Welcome to Trendy Monday, only here on The Letter M. This is Van Farrow, and uh, Andrew Scheuer is going to be uh, joining us in spirit, a.k.a. he's actually at home right now, but he'll be back in the spring. So tonight is Trendy Monday, and um, we have a lot of guests, actually. So, um, wow. So, Trendy Monday. So, before before I go ahead and introduce our guests, I'd just like to let you know what Trendy Monday is going to be about. So, it's not about dressing up in, like, Gucci or, like, Prada or anything like that. Or it's not all about, like, you know, being a hipster. Although we have a hipster guest. But... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Trendy Monday is going to be about um, basically how do you dress on a budget? Yeah, and I, I think this is something that a lot of us would like to know. How do we dress up on a budget? So we have seven guests. So uh, right now uh, we have like surprise. Oh, are you guys coming here? Oh, audience. Okay. We so have we have a studio audience. Okay. So <laughs> that is awesome. So uh, you can go ahead and uh, get some seats. I'll have you get seats later. So yeah. So this is uh, for Adelina Gilia. Yeah, we need seats here for our studio audience. So anyway, we have five guests today. I'd just like to greet our studio audience. So Amy Davis and Tirza Walker are here. Woohoo! So uh, Houghton 7 North. Okay. Now here are our guests. So since we're uh, talking about Trendy Monday today... Um, um, I guess this would be a question. So uh, I'd like you to state your name, your major here at Moody, or what year you are. And if you can summarize your style in one or two words, what would it be and why? So I'd like to, uh, I'd like to, to know about that. So first, let's start from our left. Or, okay, right. Okay, so go ahead, Jesse. <laughs> okay, go ahead, yeah. Oh my gosh, Jesse! I'm Jesse. Woohoo, Jesse! Hey, okay. Um, I am a sophomore, and my major is TESOL, which is teaching English to speakers of other languages. Oh yes. wow, that's nice! And if you could sa- if you could summarize your style in one or two words, mm. what would that be? Mm. This is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I so uh, this is something I'd like the other guests to start thinking too. So, <clears throat> oh, style yeah. one or two words. Yeah, like for me, um, I'd summarize my style as old rebel because, like, I'm very old fashioned with my old style. Rebel? Old yes. rebel, yes, okay. <clears throat> old <laughs> think rebel. Think of that dog from the movie <laughs> no. Old Yeller, the one that died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's it's kind of like that, you know, that kind of like not mainstream. Right. So, yeah. yeah. So, what okay. about you, Jesse? What's your uh, um, style? I guess I'll use like two separate words. One of them is floral because I'm floral. obsessed with floral print things. Ooh, okay. I really love floral print. Okay, so floral, and then yes. what would be the second word, if there's any? Um, I guess we could go with urban because I like like street style. Ooh, and that kind urban of stuff. floral. Okay, yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay, so yeah. our next guest is Kirsten. Uh, yeah, I'm, Kirsten, I Kirsten, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm bad with names, I'm bad with women, I'm, bu- I'm bad with numbers. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Oh, you're good, oh. you're okay. good. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, my name is Kirsten Bird. Um, okay. I am Ministry to Victims of Sexual Exploitation. Ooh. Um, I'm a freshman, yeah. and let's see, if I had to summarize my style, mm-hmm. I would probably say, like, classic and simple. Classic and simple. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. Next, uh, he's returning, by the way, so y'all know him. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I'm uh, Jamal. Yeah. Uh, last name Hegwood. Hegwood. Um, okay. Studying youth ministry. Ooh. Um, we said okay. You said two to three words, L- right? Like one or two words. One or two. Yeah, one or two. Okay, so expand it. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can. Can we expand, expand it, it to like... three? I mean, this, my second okay. word is just a letter, so I mean, okay. that's like okay. There's so a pass. <laughs> I, I guess like my t- two to three words have to be whatever I want. Oh, oh. that's, a, <laughs> that's no. so postmodern. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think whatever I want. Yeah, that would Ooh. be. A, oh my gosh! I think that's against the SLG, though. I, I like that style. I can, yeah, I whatever that, I want. But, yeah. So. Oh wow. Okay, our next guest. Next guest. Yes. My name is Rob Lalorne. 
So this is like this is the guy you've been hearing from, you know, for like the past two years. Whoa. Like whenever I tell stories about like Rob stuff, Rob, <laughs> Robert, yes, this is the guy that's, finally that's here. That's me. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. I made it. Okay. Um, I'm a junior. Okay. Um, and my style, dang, I should have been thinking about this while other people. Yeah, while other people things. are that like, would that would have been smart. Um, style, one or two words. Wretched. Yeah. Huh? Wretched. What? No, I was just trying to think of the most random word. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> ooh, shoot. Uh, let's do. Let's do. Wretched. Urban. Let's do. I, I don't want to steal hers. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Ur- Probably urban classy. I like dressing nice. Okay, yeah. urban classy. Urban classy. Um, but not too nice because I want to. Wretched urban wretched. classy. <laughs> 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 right, it's, it's a, it covers all my bases. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. So urban classy. Okay. With a mix of wretched. With a mix. With a mix of <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of wretched. No, wretched is intertwined. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in there. okay. I, I like that. Okay. And our last guest. All right, my name is Bethany. Um, I'm a junior and an elementary education major. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would say my style is classy but casual. Mm. Classy but casual. So casual, mm. classy. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Casual. So, so, so you all like <laughs> casual. <Yeah. Right. laughs> I like that. So, so you all like. Are, um, very casual, so very you know, very light. You're not like you know. Oh my gosh, I have to be like haute couture or something like that. So I don't even know who that is. Come on now, <laughs> it's like high fashion. How do you, like how do you, spell you know, that? I'm That's gonna. It. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm gonna go to Sestio and my Louboutins or something like that. So yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't work because like yeah, because whatever. You tried it. <laughs> I, well, I mean, I tried it. Right, the shoes yeah. have a lot, a lot, have a lot of spikes, so it doesn't work. <laughs> Too reminiscent of like demonic like images. So, right. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So there are some things that you can wear and cannot wear at Moody. So, and that's actually something that we will be talking about too at some point in time. So, uh, if you would like to be involved in our conversation, so for example, if you would like to tell us what what kind of style do you have, you know, or mm. do, do you have like you know um, trashy but okay. <laughs> 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 you never know. Sometimes I wear like trashy but okay, especially Wait, when that's I don't. Yours trashy but okay. <laughs> I, I feel like that's it. It's yeah, like, yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> trashy three words? but okay. Yeah. Tra- that trashy makes wretched but okay. sound good. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, no, because like sometimes there are some there are some days where you just like wake up and you, like you're just trashy. No, <laughs> yeah, I just, just wake up trashy. trashy. So, <laughs> yeah, so sweatpants, hoodie, which uh, what? you know that's yeah. not trashy. That's whatever I want. Okay, yeah. I, I went to Leola like once wearing guy. that. Right. <laughs> People thought I was trashy, trashy, so you know. But <laughs> yeah, but it's like you you become like whoever it is for Christ, right? So trashy to okay. trashy people. Uh, yeah. So. All right, all right, of course. <laughs> so something like that. Right. Okay. So if you're listening right now and you would like to be involved in our conversation, so you can go to our Facebook page at the letter M on MCR or on our Twitter page at the letter M dot MCR. I'm sorry, I got that the other way around. <laughs> I've been doing this for two two years, so it's like the first time I've ever messed up. Okay, so uh, w- uh, you can go to our Facebook page at the letter M dot MCR or on our Twitter page at the letter M on MCR. You can also um, hashtag Trendy Monday for this. That way, if you're like tweeting about us or anything, we will trend. So that is nice. So we're going to go for a music break, and when we come back, we're going to be talking about um, <clears throat> how did. Our guests develop their style over time. Like, who are their influences? Um, so, if you're looking for a style right now, if your style is trashy but okay, you need to improve. That's yeah. right. Yeah. These are the people no, that you can come to pretty it. much. Accept yeah, it. pretty much. <laughs> so, um, um, I guess... Uh, wow, I- I'm like drawing a blank right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to go on a music break. And here's Fireflight uh, with Core of My Addiction only here on the letter M. Okay, that is good. And we are back here for Trendy Monday with our five guests. So uh, this actually, uh, you're actually setting a letter M record right now. This is the most number of guests that we've ever had for an episode. So uh, yeah, count yourselves as part of that record. So we have Bethany Bauer, Rob LaLauren, um, Jamal Egwood. Hegwood. You are sorry. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal Hegwood. You got it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm used to like the Spanish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Kirsten you want. Bird. 
and Jesse Lenning, and we have Teresa Walker and Amy Davis um, in our audience today. So uh, before woo. before we go ahead with our, uh, our question, I would like to let you know if you would like to be involved in our conversation, like you would like to share your style or let us know of like some tips on how to dress on a budget, or you know if you have any uh, any ideas on like. Um, if you're a Christian, like how do you uh, dress up? Pretty much, you can let us know on our Facebook page oh, at man. the letter M dot MCR or on our Twitter page at the letter M on MCR. So now, question is a uh, floating question is how did you develop your style? So if if you can like squeeze it in into like very short like one minute explanations, how how did you guys develop your style? So who wants to uh, take that first? How do you develop your style, Jamal? Jamal. Oh, wow. I, I knew that was coming. Um, <clears throat> how did I develop my style? So the stylish um, guy first. Yeah. Okay. How did I? Whoa. Oh, whoa. 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 Okay. Um, we're having like some lighting difficulties here. So no, it's just a party. Lights. A party's yeah, about to party. start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Just make sure you guys don't have epilepsy. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, I can't control that, Ralph. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, okay. <laughs> um, no. How did I develop my style? Yeah, go ahead. How um, did you develop your style? I would say that uh, I developed my style of, yes, yes, MCR in the dark. Um, <laughs> I developed my style of, of whatever I want through just really um, waking up and, and seeing stuff that I liked and then going, hey, I'm going to wear this. Um, I guess my style doesn't really have like a... Um, I don't know, like a guideline to it, but um, just seeing different people. Um, I get my style from like a lot of cool preachers, which is a little weird, but yeah, like Carl Lynch, Chad Beach, people like them. So I'm Ooh, like, wow, wow, they're cool. I'm gonna put my spin on it, and then there you go. So, oh, okay, so you look at preachers? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, <clears throat> um, yeah. I mean, when you're preaching, you want to look like a preacher, right? So yeah. <laughs> yeah, but these they, they don't look anything like preachers. So like, um, so like when we say preachers, of course, there's like people who look like you know Billy Graham, like suit no. and tie, you no. know, not like Justin Timberlake suit and tie, but like suit and tie, <laughs> no. and then like yeah, these guys are not like that though. Like if you like if you were to look up like uh, Carl Lentz, Carl Lentz, okay. Carl. Lens. And we're going to share a picture of him on our Facebook page. Yeah, share a page. picture yeah. of him. Mm -hmm. He's really like he's really like uh he's really cool, you know? Like he, yeah. he rarely wears suits. Um and uh he just he just owns his mm -hmm. his his fashion and so I look at people like him and I'm like, Hey, that's cool. Yeah. And then I just put my own spin to it, so Carl Lint, is it the L I N T Z or L E N T Z? Okay, He's okay the got pastor it. Pastor of Hillsong, New York. Yeah, Hillsong, New York. Ah, okay, got it. Okay, so uh, Jamal looks at uh, preachers like Carl Lint. Okay, who uh, who's next? Okay, um, Kirsten. I think that uh, for me, honestly, my friends had a really big influence on my fashion. Uh, so like the people surrounding me um, and actually like half my wardrobe is from my friend Mackenzie back home who got rid of a bunch of her stuff and Ooh. like I'm wearing her sweater right now. So awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that's one thing that you can do to uh, dress up on a budget. Yeah. yeah. If Hand you have, downs. have a lot of friends. They're great. Yeah. Who are like going to the gym or like, I don't know, just, you know, growing horizontally. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> Rob, how did you how, how did you develop your style? Man, it's this like, is um, the master right here. Um, take notes, people. Take notes. So what I did, yeah. Um, what you got? Okay, here's what you got to do. Okay, <laughs> tell us what do we got to do. You go to the store, right? You, <laughs> you walk in the store, yeah, oh and you're happy because because you're getting some new things. Okay, yeah. but here here's the trick. Okay, you you're not getting new things because you're you're in the goodwill. So you're, actually <laughs> you're, yeah. you're in goodwill. Yeah. And, yeah. And when you're in this goodwill mm -hmm. where people have given their yeah. uh, their old things, you just it's like a treasure hunt. Yes, it is. So, it it's is. Like, so you're like a pirate running around looking for treasure. <laughs> and with, then you just you, it's all about finding something. Like I'm really I'm inspired by like a lot of the guys from like I don't know like someone like really fancy like sean connery or something like james oh Bond. yes oh yeah yeah, just yeah like yeah. someone real classy mm -hmm. but then like mm -hmm. also i think inspired just like living in chicago seeing people walk around just like oh yeah. that guy looks cool mm -hmm. um and then just like seeing stuff that i'm like 
I, I'd wear that. I don't care if it's cool or not. I think it's cool. Um, and then just owning whatever you're wearing, just like feeling comfortable in what you're wearing, because that'll make that'll make you look cool, feel cool. Because if you feel cool in whatever you're wearing. People will notice that. Or they won't, but yeah. you'll still feel cool. <laughs> yeah, even if you're wearing a trash bag, if you feel cool about yourself. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Once, <laughs> can I share a story? One time yeah, I go ahead. One time I wore a trash bag. You uh, did? So, no, so I was- I'm uh, pretty pick- sure you looked good in a trash no, no, bag. No, no, he did. I was like did. <laughs> picking up my sister. She works at Starbucks, and it was like raining super hard. Mm-hmm. Bethany was actually with me. You remember this? Mm-hmm. Um, and- I wore a trash bag mm-hmm. on the way home because it was raining super hard. Yeah. And I owned that trash bag and I looked mm-hmm. awesome. That's, That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> all right, he looked awesome in a trash bag. So, wow. Okay. So, uh, Bethany, how did your style evolve? Um, she saw me in a trash nope. bag. And like, <laughs> <laughs> um, Pinterest actually yeah. definitely helped. Um, Pinterest. Yes. Okay. For sure. Since mm-hmm. I'm planning on being a teacher someday, all mm-hmm. you have to look up is teacher wardrobe. And oh, there's okay. plenty of ideas. Mm-hmm. So just whatever you want to do someday. Just look it up on Pinterest. On Pinterest. Yeah, and absolutely. everyone's like pinning stuff like that. Um, I had a friend who I went for coffee who's going to re- re- remain unnamed because like she's so ashamed of this. Um, <laughs> oh, no. But, um, wow. okay, so we were at Eva's um, yeah. one day. And um, for some reason, I just happened to look by her. And it was on her Pinterest page. And they were filled with wedding dresses. And I was oh. like, already? <laughs> it's like, okay. So, oh, shoot. Yeah, so be careful what you show on your Pinterest. Was it might send like, the wrong information. Like, how already are we? Was she just like... No, it we... wasn't like already already. She was just like, oh, people just keep like pinning stuff on my no, board and they're all like getting married and, Whoa. you know. So I, was she I, like I guess... single? Was she like in love with... Someone? Single and, and in, in love, love yeah. Lord. That's right. In love with the Lord and the man. That's what she was planning to marry. She was going to marry. So, yeah. Amen. So, but, but Bethany <laughs> says it's like, no. So it has to be pretty... Um, <laughs> Pretty specific, like. I mean, most, <laughs> most girls have their secret wedding boards. Yes. Se- uh, secret I wedding can boards. To that. What wow. is oh, this? It oh is my god. Very, oh. Yes. Whoa. Mine doesn't exist. I'm proud <laughs> to say <laughs> I don't have one. Mm. Mine. Right, you all have like secret wedding boards. <laughs> I feel like they out there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Is this like just a moody thing or is this no. like... No, no, no. no. It's a universal. No. It's a girl. Universal Rob, do you girl have a Pinterest? Pinterest I don't. I, I, I don't either. I Mitch, I don't our either. old roommate has Pinterest. Oh, our old... Yeah. yeah. So, I'm so like, Van Farrow and I. what happened to your Let's masculinity? Like it's not. like... <laughs> That's not... Yeah. That's not... <laughs> no, no, none for the guy. Okay. None. Um, Jesse, how do your yes. style evolve? Well... Oh, okay. <laughs> so just kind of like hold the microphone, yeah. No okay, um, how did your style evolve? Well, I think definitely Pinterest, but I think Pinterest too. More, okay. more importantly for mm-hmm. me, before that, um, my family can attest to that I spent a lot of time on Tumblr, which is like a blog website Tumblr. type of thing. Yeah. Um, and there are a lot of style and fashion blogs that you can follow um, that will post like only pictures, not like actually blog text or anything. Um, and Tumblr style definitely there are different types, but there's definitely like a Tumblr like urban yeah. street style. Um, and I think I just really latched onto it and I really liked it. Ooh, My sisters. That's nice. um, I have three sisters and they mm-hmm. like we like what each other like wears but yeah their style is a little different from mine i kind of like pulled away from that mm-hmm. we're all a little unique but yeah it's interesting wow that's nice so uh there's like different um um uh what you call the influences for styles i have a weird one um so the way that i kind of like developed my style was um i would usually look at the fall and spring collections of uh <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Go, no, go keep on. going. Go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you already started. Okay, you, I would usually it. look at the fall and spring collections of three designers: oh, Tom fancy. Ford, yeah, Tom Ford, mm. Givenchy, or Gucci. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So usually I, w- yeah, I'm like super like yeah, and then I would see like okay, do I have this in my closet or not and stuff. So there was only you one have, time that you I have didn't Tom Ford in your closet. I, no, yeah, I didn't okay. have Tor- I, I didn't have Tom Ford in my closet. Although like color choices though, I like Tom right. Ford. There was only like one. Uh, there was only like one time where I didn't follow uh, Givenchy, and that was the time when they released skirts 
for guys <laughs> for their fall collection. So I'm like, no, I am not wearing I a skirt. I remember that. Like, oh, that's where where you drew the line. That's yeah, where you I'm said like, no. no, I am not wearing a skirt. Man. So they have, I, yeah. And uh, they, they've gotten kind of racy like over the past <laughs> few years. So like ever since I moved to Moody, I'm like, no. Because like they started having like transparent t-shirts. But I have a question yeah. though. I I'm not question. gym ready, so I can't wear that. Yeah. I have a question. Okay, Even your... so, with the skirts though, for guys, mm-hmm. if it was knee length, like is that is that good for the SOG? <laughs> That's a good that's question. Good Isn't that is I a know. good question. If I it's knee length, I think that's a question for Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he's listening? <laughs> I might get a letter. Yeah, and I don't know. You, you can look it up. It's like I'm like, Let's no, see. I am not wearing a man's skirt. It's <laughs> like, yeah. So no. e- even if you call it a man skirt, like I just won't be yeah. comfortable wearing a uh, man skirt. It's what, like what would, yeah, a, sk- a smirk. That's, I don't, a, I can't. A, or a, uh, a masseur. Yeah, I, I can't even. Yeah, yeah. Tessel okay. majors, you can probably like. Yeah, uh, she can probably get that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't teach those kind of words to people. <laughs> they're, not, they're not too necessary yeah. generally. I th- I think if you're Scottish, you can like. You know, you can like uh, carry it, but if you're not, then you know, yeah, you don't <laughs> have. Yeah, if you're like a guy and you're wearing a skirt, um, I don't know. I mean, it's like. Hey. I, it, it kind of like goes against what I believe with like uh, fashion because for me like whatever whatever you feel comfortable wearing it's like go ahead and do it but like you know that's I mean I mean that could kind that, of like yeah, yeah that could like come back at me and like well what if I feel you know comfortable wearing a skirt and, like you're a guy so <laughs> we will be talking about that we too will, like yeah. later on so uh, on our application part so that's how your styles have evolved so um Pearl, uh, Pearl Windle, she's one of our uh, greatest fans here at the Letter M. So she mm, said, uh, hey she Pearl. was commenting on what we said, uh, or what I said, I guess, um, before the music break. She says, Van, I don't think you know what the word trashy means in the context of fashion. LOL. Oh. So. <clears throat> is that a challenge? Yeah. I mean, it's like, I guess trashy is like different ways on, you know, like, uh, like for me, trashy isn't like, you know, oh no, I'm wearing trash or anything. It's, it's kind of like, nah, I don't want to like, you know, dress up or like level up with like, you know, dressing up. So right. I'm just so like, it's not like the scandalous kind. <clears throat> yeah. That's, yeah that's, always, that's how it's I, not like yeah. the, I'll just yeah, wear my bed sheet to class kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> but like, right. yeah. So, right. yeah. So thank you very much for, uh, for that. So we've also posted like, um, our guests' different style, uh, styles on Facebook and on Twitter. So, uh, I also have like the link to Carl Lind so you could see, uh, Jamal's like, yeah. um, He's style cool. guide. So, um, Okay, so uh, I guess my next question would be, so since you, you have like all of these styles, when you moved here at Moody, aka your budget became very limited, <laughs> were there any concessions or were there any changes that you had to make to your style when uh, you came to Moody? Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I guess Jamal's like, <laughs> no. okay, go ahead. I don't, I don't think there was like too much mm-hmm. that, uh, that had to change because yeah. like I've always been big on... Um, going to Salvation Army or or Goodwill Amen. And like a two dollar mm-hmm. crew neck or something. Those are just the mm-hmm. best. You know, so um I don't think I, I feel like uh, you know, being in college, like that shouldn't be an excuse mm-hmm. to to, you know, not still be be pretty fashionable. You know, yeah. if you're smart, mm-hmm. you know, and just wise with your money then you can yeah. you know, you can do mm-hmm. good. Um it might take a little bit more effort, but mm-hmm. you know you can you can most definitely uh, figure it out. Um, mm-hmm. You just gotta put the time into it. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what about you guys? Were there any like changes in your style? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Please. it definitely takes a lot more time to mm-hmm. find new clothing. Um, just as Jamal was saying, yeah. um, just with like being on a budget and having to kind of treasure hunt, uh, like Rob said, mm-hmm. for the good things. Uh, so lots of thrift stores, mm-hmm. uh, things like that. Also, like just getting used to not buying new clothes and using the things that you have yeah. in a different way. Mm-hmm. Um, so like pairing different things um, mm-hmm. in a new way and, and things like that and using your resources. <laughs> also, being on a dorm is great because you get to borrow clothes Ooh. from friends on yeah. the floor. So. Unless you're the only Asian roommate, then you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how Your to help roommate's you like clothes are like too big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't borrow like Rob's clothes. They're like too big for me. Right. I'm, I'm a giant. Yeah. Right now I'm like. He's six, not. Nine. He's um, not. Yeah. 268 pounds. <laughs> I'm yeah, big, and then like dude. when he came back, he, when he came back from Europe, he grew like an inch, and like oh, he and got bigger. Even, even, yeah. yeah, I'm I, I'm what I say six nine. I'm six ten now. You're six ten now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, 
uh, before before we go ahead with the other guests, I'd just like to uh, uh, um, uh, to read here a comment by Jua Washington. So she's listening to us right now, mm. um, and she said that her style is electrically eclectic. Eclectic. I'm sorry. Ooh, electrically eclectic. Mm. Whoa. I like that. I like I like that style mm. name. I can't say yeah. it, but I like it. Yeah, <laughs> electrically eclectic. Oh, her name is Jua Washington. We yeah. know her. Oh, I saw we her. Know her. I met her um, yesterday for the first time. Yes. And yeah. I noticed right away that I absolutely love her <laughs> style. It was amazing. Her style is like, amazing. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. So, wow. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for listening to us. So, um, wait, who, who else haven't gone yet? Oh, my gosh. This is like the hashtag, like, too many guests. Okay. <laughs> Bethany. All right. Um, kind of like what Kirsten was saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, having friends and girls on your floor mm-hmm. who have the same clothes style as you and mm-hmm. the same size as you has helped tremendously. Um, yeah. Like, for example, my roommate mm-hmm. has a ton of great sweaters, and mm-hmm. Rob can attest to this. I mm-hmm. probably wear one every other day. So, yeah. That definitely Especially helps. it's getting cold, too. So, oh, absolutely. yeah. This is uh, Ariel, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is Ariel listening right now? Probably not. I think she's at work. Oh Well, I mean, even if you're at work, you can still listen to the letter M. Remember, we're live on 24 time zones. As long as you have an internet connection. <laughs> as long as you have an internet connection or you're like a U.S. like military guy stationed in like Funafuta uh, Atoll wow. somewhere. Oh, it's like, word. yeah, you can listen okay. to the letter M. So yeah. just saying. Okay. So, um, shout out to all our people in Fuda. Yeah, <laughs> Fuda Futi yeah. Atoll. Fuda, yeah, Fuda. so yeah. yeah. Lonely, <laughs> you're trying to guard like the United States, like outlying minor islands. Yeah, <laughs> listen thank to you. the letter M. Thank you for listening. Yeah, yeah you're an American so Samoa much. time. Yeah, so. we, ap- we appreciate <laughs> you all. We appreciate <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay, Jesse, um, were there any uh, were there any things that you had to like change with your style when you came to Moody and you know had your budget become limited? Um. Well, for me, I think my budget was kind of always limited. Mm-hmm. Well, or it's Amen. just that I Amen. love thrift stores. Uh, my family yeah. can attest to this. Like, at least like over half of my yeah. wardrobe is from a thrift store. Thrift I'm wearing store. shoes from a thrift store yeah. right now. Surprisingly, mm-hmm. not the not my pants or my shirt, which usually yeah. it is. <coughs> I have like a bazillion sweaters yeah. that are yeah. all from thrift stores. Are awesome. And like Rob said, I love hunting. I will mm-hmm. spend like hours and just like I look through every little like mm-hmm. thing of clothing because you never know mm-hmm. like what's gonna pop out. It's gonna be like, oh, this is amazing. It's like the perfect find. Yeah. So it's like mm-hmm. yeah, really fun and really awesome. Yeah, yeah. It, it it takes persistence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To, uh, to look for clothes I remember My aunt was the one Who taught me about Like you know The clearance section The clearance section Is oh. one of the most Oh the, yeah One of the most my Magical places Can I yeah, yeah your mom taught you About that Can I yeah. tell mom a story too. About the clearance section <laughs> A story okay. about The clearance section My grandmother Used to work at Kohl's At Kohl's Ooh. For years Yeah For years And we would go To the <laughs> store um, And there was the One particular time It was one of my First times going To the store That I can remember and I went straight for the toys and she got upset with me because I didn't go straight for the clearance section. <laughs> and so every time we went to a store, I couldn't go to the toys until I went to the clearance section. Um, and so <laughs> now every time I go into a store, I guess where I'm going first, <laughs> the clearance section. <laughs> but I always find something in the clearance <laughs> section. So thank you, yeah. Grandma, so yeah, much. Grandma. Thank you so much for, uh, yeah. for training up a child. In the yeah, way in that, a way that he should go he should <laughs> when go. he was Thank older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the clearance section is uh, very helpful. Um, oh, I remember when I was in Los Angeles over the summer. So my aunt is from New Zealand. So she came up, she came up here and like... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he said my aunt is from New Zealand. He's like, of course. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's her first time in the United States, and she was like, um, we were shopping at Ho- Hollywood and Highland, you know, because we were visiting the Kodak Theater, oh. and um, so we went. We went to Gap. And she was like, oh, my gosh, everything's expensive here. And it's like, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. So <laughs> <laughs> so I took her back to the clearance section of Gap. And she was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I got, I probably got, like, two shirts from her. Yeah, because we went to the clearance section of Gap. So thank you, Gap, and your clearance section. Oh, Gap is one of my favorites. Yeah, so. Gap I mean, is amazing. I yeah. mean, I love thrift stores and everything, but yeah. the jeans at Gap are just... 
Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, man, yeah. I love them. They're I have not high maintenance, by the way. It's just, it's like, it just so happened we were at Gap. So, right, yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, Amy Davis. So, she's actually in our audience ooh, right now. But ooh. she just messaged us on Facebook. Audience. So, um, Amy and Teresa would like to ask, was there ever a gothic influence in middle school when you were in middle school? Gothic? Gothic influence. You mean like the black and heavy eye makeup yeah. and all of that? Goth, I guess, yeah. There was like, I went yeah. to, through a brief time where I was like trying to be kind of skater and I had like these white kinda skater, skater <laughs> shoes with like pink on them. And I think, I'm pretty sure when I got them, my sister was like, are you going to wear that? But <laughs> yeah, that was that was like only for like a year. I think I moved out of that pretty fast. <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah. I think there were a lot of kids at, at my school who went through that phase in middle mm-hmm. school, but um, like if you know me at all, that is the complete opposite of who I am. This is true. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I tried. I remember one time I tried like painting my nails black because I was like, "This is in," and like yeah. I wonder how it'll look, and it just looked mm-hmm. awful. Like it was terrible, and I had to take it off right away. It was mm-hmm. it was horrible. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. Can't do it. Wow. Okay. What about you, Jamal? Um, I've never had to deal with that um, <laughs> ever. <laughs> um, I, I, I feel like I naturally have enough mm-hmm. black, so um, <laughs> so I never, I never really had to deal with um with the whole gothic scene. Um, yeah. So that's. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal. <That's it>. Jamal. <laughs> okay, what about you, uh, oh. Robin and Bethany? When you were in middle school, did you have to deal with like <laughs> the gothic subculture? <laughs> No, no, what? no! Well, I was never. Like, <laughs> did everyone think I did? Like that guy? I mean, like, you're from California. Yeah, and I Bethany's can see from, like, you here, like around the Chicago suburbs. Uh, so I could see. There's you. bound to be like weird kids around. No, what, my best friend in high school uh-huh. he got really into that for a minute, and he like like he was like did the nails. He wore like these weird like gloves with spikes on them. Oh, it was, like, wow! Very short, painful phase. For a him. short, painful face. He like okay. had weird hair and like, wow, oh, he was just so <laughs> strange. And he wore like the girl okay. skinny jeans. You know what I'm talking about? When those were like cool for a second. Oh my gosh, we were just talking yeah. about this over dinner. Yeah, yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not, no, not us. Huh? No, 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 not I us. I don't quite remember. <laughs> <laughs> was I even at it? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, not, not, not with you guys. With like with a few guys and um, we're talking girl some jeans girl. For boys. I forgot. I am so sorry. Was it you guys? Yeah, uh, it was Teresa. And uh, yeah, like I told him, like I I can't wear skinny jeans. I'm just too curvy. So <laughs> you know, yeah, you no, 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 yeah. no. You that's true. Yeah, that's you, true. Yeah. If you've ever Everybody seen van. the van? So, what we got? Mm-hmm. If you've ever seen van? <laughs> oh my god! <gosh. laughs> <laughs> I wore like skinny jeans when I like preach, and like I don't know, they didn't what? understand the word of my sermon. Right? <laughs> they were too. They they were distracted, <laughs> man. Yeah, they were, yeah, they're like, the Bible says you're not man. supposed to cause your weaker brother to stumble, and you did just that. <laughs> You did just that. <laughs> oh, were those the? Were they those bright colored ones? Yeah. Oh uh-huh. no, you can't. Yeah. Hip and trendy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, those mm-hmm. are my favorites. I love. Yeah, them. I of know. <laughs> you look too good in those. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking if it's that or it. salmon. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Dude, you I, won. You won. If you're gonna do it, go Aww, big. That's nice. Go big. Okay. So um. <laughs> okay. So uh, Luke Shoemate has a question actually on what is the verdict oh, on oh, now. Oh, Lukey Pookie. Yeah. So uh. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since, <laughs> since he's asking about Fedora, so I guess let's kind of like um, let's kind of like personalize a question. So if there is one item of clothing that you have right now, that um, when you show it to somebody, it's going to tell them, oh yeah, that's Bethany, or that's Rob, or that's Kirsten, or that's Jamal, or that's Jesse. What would that item of clothing be, and why? Mm. Wow. Hmm. That's hard. Yeah, man. that's really hard. Oh. So like, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Jesse. Like what we're wearing currently? No, not what no. you're wearing currently, oh. but like if you're going to itemize your wardrobe in your mind palace, and <laughs> yeah. hey, I'm gonna like... use it now. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> <laughs> in your mind, yeah. but what so if like... it's not a 
What if it's not a palace? It's just a shack. Yeah. <laughs> what, what happens That's then? A good point. What happens or, or then? Well, I mean, it's yeah. mine cabin. Might be a yeah, cabin. yeah. Cabin. Well, if it's just a cabin, nice it's a, cabin. It would be woods. easier for you to itemize no, and like yeah. having like a Lindsay Lohan like closet in your head, <laughs> like whatever you own. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've seen the bling ring and like yeah, she has a big closet, so Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if you have one if you could think of one piece of clothing that you own right now that when you show somebody you they're going to be like, Oh yeah, that's you. That's what would that be? You. So, um Huh. Yeah, that's a hard question too. <laughs> no. I can think of anything. So Tirza, Amy, um if there's like, this this question is open for you guys here because you're you're like in our studio audience, so if you have one piece of clothing, and this is open for all of you guys there too, who's like listening. So I guess Luke kind of likes fedoras. Yeah, he actually looks good in fedoras. Yeah, he does. Anyway, so uh, so while you're thinking about that, I'll answer his question. I think it depends on the shape of your head. Uh, if a fedora <laughs> would fit you, um, <clears throat> there are certain shades of head, or yeah. I mean, certain shapes of head. No, not I agree. Shades, yeah, <laughs> certain shades of head. We're in like you know, if you wear a fedora, it's like uh uh-uh, uh no, yeah. you look like Humpty Dumpty, and then you like can't, yeah, yeah, and then like there are like some heads, especially if you have like you know defined jawline. Ooh. We're in like oh yeah, and there's just like the the nice yeah oh yeah yeah. There's also a certain way to wear fedoras. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't ha- you can't have them like snug on the head. Like mm-hmm. that that's so annoying to me yeah. when people have fedora snug on mm-hmm. the head. They're just supposed to it's be like, uh. Yeah, you know, they're supposed to be there like complimenting, yeah. you know, everything. Yeah. It's not um, supposed to be like adding an inch of hair <laughs> to your exactly. bald head or something like that. So right. um, yeah. Okay, so uh piece of clothing. Ooh, Question right? does okay, jewelry count? Uh jewelry counts, yeah, because jewelry oh, is okay. part of your clothing too. Yeah. 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 So jewelry, um, <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> Okay. okay. I, okay so ahead. okay, so then I've got it. Okay. So uh every day I wear this red thread bracelet and another uh blue bracelet from Eternal Threads. If you don't know um Ooh. those organizations, look them up. Okay. Red Thread and Eternal Threads. Red Thread and Eternal yes. Threads. Okay. Um and basically like uh, they are made by women all around the world who um, have been rescued from sex trafficking. And, um, yeah, this is their income. So really cool organizations. And I wear these bracelets all the time. So when people see a red thread bracelet or something like that, they always know, like, oh, that's Kirsten's. Or, um, oh, that reminds me of Kirsten. So. Okay. So uh, red thread and? Eternal threads. Eternal threads. Okay. So uh, we'll put that on our Facebook page and our Twitter page. So that way, if you want to help out and you want to have any one of these, yeah, you can go ahead. So uh, next, so she has Red Thread and yeah, Jamal. Oh, okay. Tirza has something. Okay. So uh, you can go ahead and take Jamal's right. microphone. <clears throat> so probably not on purpose, but I yeah. think I've become known on uh, maybe for wearing like a white rose clip. White rose clip. Ooh, yeah. okay. And why do you usually wear the uh, the white rose clip? All right. So my style type is very vintage and okay. Victorian. So vintage Victorian. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there's like the book the language of flowers. Mhm. Um the white rose means I'm worthy of you. And so okay. that's why I always wear it cuz I just really loved the meaning behind it. Mm. And I found it in London. Wow. I was like, oh, this is perfect. And so that's why. <laughs> okay, so that's Tirza. So when you see like white rose clip, Tirza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jamal. I mean, I kind of feel a little weird now because like <laughs> both of those are like all meaningful and like cool and stuff. <clears throat> and mine's. No, it doesn't not, have to be esoteric or anything like that. It, so. Mine totally isn't. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um I I'm, I guess I'm wearing mine right now. Okay. Uh, it would it would have to be my uh, floral print shoes that Which I'm wearing. Which I really really love, <laughs> and I tell him every time he wears them that I love his shoes. They are uh, they're roses and they're beautiful and they're awesome. Um, yeah, you don't really see too many guys wearing them. I've gotten a bunch of uh, guys tell me those are pretty shoes, bro. Um, <laughs> but um, I think the uh, the the reason why I wear them is because I used to I used to work at Journeys, the shoe okay. store, and um, someone a lot. Uh, and also, I guess that that's like that goes into like how my fashion is how mm-hmm. I get my fashion. Yeah, is when people like challenge me and say that I can't make something look good. 
uh-huh. then I feel like I have to make it look good. Amen. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so someone <laughs> challenged me, and they were like, you know, I bet you can't make those look good. I bet you yeah. can't rock those. And, and, mm-hmm. and I do. So I've actually know. gotten that uh, tonight for my uh, skull cap. Yeah. See? See? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I somebody mean, who's going to re- remain unnamed had told me it's like, I think, I think that I know. looks ridiculous. And I like, think I no, know. it doesn't look ridiculous. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <man. laughs> so when you got it, flaunt it. It's yeah, like, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Bethany. So, uh, yes. yeah. Um, I have this little gray beret. A gray beret. With a black okay. Black bow on it. Hmm. That for some reason I'm obsessed with it, and I okay. wear it like every day in the winter. And all my friends make fun of me and try to steal it, but that is definitely <laughs> try to steal my it. My one thing. <laughs> Okay, so Grey Beret, mm-hmm. that's Bethany, pretty yes, much. Okay. Absolutely. What about you, Rob? What about me? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was, oh, man. I was thinking maybe yeah. during, like, the winter time. Okay. Like, my Infinity Scarf. Ooh, mm. I've I seen this that, Infinity yeah, Scarf. I wear yeah. it, like, all the time. That's, so mm. most people that, like, are here that haven't seen me during the winter time but you mm-hmm. will you will see him i have yeah. a couple infinity scarves <laughs> mm-hmm. that i just love to wear because they're like super big and super warm mm-hmm. and, and and johnny wilson makes fun of me a lot he's <laughs> listening he's one of the people in informal uh used to live and on he's the floor. uh ra of uh colby 14. Colby, 14 colby 14 yeah black sheep yeah um, used to make fun of me all the time with because of the infinity scarf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I love it and it's warm and it's mine. Amen. Do yeah, it. do it. When, yeah, when you own something, own it. Even if Amen. people say, Free. yeah, Amen. even if people say it doesn't look good on you, own it. It's own like, it. Yeah, Un- unless. Uh, it yeah, Jesse. Look good. Um, so I think a majority of my family is listening right now. And so Ooh, I texted can, can them. Oh, uh, can, li- can you, can uh, you, can um, you, shout uh, out. Yeah, do a shout I out for that. them. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. my uncle said he wants a shout out. He's in North Carolina. Woo. Amen. Um, and then I think North I have my Carolina. aunts in Texas and Michigan. And then my family in the suburbs. Um, and I texted them and I said, like, what, what, what would that one item be? And my younger okay. brother, Caleb, said it would be my llama sweatshirt that I Ooh. have for my floor. It's, um, it's like a crew yeah. neck. Seven North. <coughs> seven yes. North. Yeah, Houghton Seven North's uh, mascot is a llama. We're the llamas. Legendary and it's, uh, llamas. Um, so now we're like the legendary llamas, yes. pretty much. It's, a, mm-hmm. it's like one of the ones without a hood. Mm-hmm. I originally knew them as a nudie, like no hood Nud- hoodie. Oh my, no. But what? I quickly wow. found out that a I nudie. think it's actually called crew neck. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a nudie. <laughs> Someone told me that. That was the original oh, one. Oh, that's hilarious. Hey, nobody's but. going to know that a nudie is not a nudie. So. <laughs> nudie. That's, a, so that's awkward. <laughs> but yes. That's yes, good. I wear those all the time. <laughs> awesome. That's yeah, so we, sh- we should start this. Uh, we should start this. Uh, this hashtag. It's like no, no, huh? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nudie, moody. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, bro. Maybe not. No. I yeah. like how you're wearing that that moody nudie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real nice moody nudie. That's um, too it's hard a crew to say neck. Moody. Yeah. Yeah. So to moody. Oh my gosh. Well, in 15 minutes, we're going to be playing a game. All so right. this is the first Fun. time that we are going to be doing this at the letter M where we're playing history. a game. History. So this is like a history making episode. <laughs> so um, that's why we have a studio audience, you people who are listening to us. So like that U.S. Marine who's like in the food and Funi Futi a- <laughs> Funa oh, Futi Atoll, like Funa listening, Futi. Lus- listening to the letter M because it's lonely guarding like Man. the United States minor outlying islands. He's you can join us. He's getting so much love tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. He's getting so much yeah. love. Yeah. So it's not just a sea turtle. T- can we name him? <laughs> Can we name whoever this, um, this soldier is? It's a corporal marine something. Co- yeah. Corporal, let's say like yeah. Corporal. Let's give him a stylish name. I mean, it's like yeah, a trendy. Yeah, it's gotta Monday. be stylish. Yeah. Corporal so, uh, Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. Yeah, Ralph is a really, really trendy name. I like. Yeah. That I was one. thinking like it's Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, because Ralph see? only wears Ralph. Yeah. See, there you go. <laughs> right. see? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, for Ralph, yeah, hopefully yeah. Uh, we're entertaining you. This is our service to uh, yeah. America. Yeah, entertaining our troops. 
<laughs> this Ralph. Show is our <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so we will be playing a game. Of course, um, I'm not gonna let you know what the game is. But if you would like to be part of this game uh, and you're listening right now, um, you can do one of two things. If you're in Chicago, you can join us here on Sweden Four. Mm. Or if you are not here uh, by Moody. Um, let's say you're like in you know the apartment building across from Jenkins. That's not Moody, so you can come here. So if you're there, <clears throat> you can go ahead and uh, interact with us on Facebook and on Twitter. So uh, as to what the game is, we're going to let you know uh, what the game is. Um, in actually, we only have like um, 13 minutes because we will be Ooh. playing the game at nine o'clock. So at nine o'clock on the dots. <clears throat> On the dot, we are playing the game. So instead of doing moody stories, because I mean, it's like, how can you give fashion advice to like moody students? It's like you know. So oh, I would love <laughs> to. Yeah, although we will be giving that a lot. So um, I guess like before we go ahead with our game, um, I just like to ask uh, with you guys, um, and this is something that kind of like lends with the game. Um, when you're deciding on what you're going to be wearing every day, are there any considerations that you're considering? I guess. Ooh, I have. Yeah, okay, so, Rob, go ahead. Well, I work the front desk here mm-hmm. at Moody, so I have to be dressed up, basically, every yeah. day. So mm-hmm. I got to wear, like, button-up shirt, okay. kind of like slacks, mm-hmm. nice boots or okay. dress shoes, maybe a tie, mm-hmm. a nice sweater. So kind of yeah. those are all my considerations, mm-hmm. which is sometimes a bummer, because sometimes I just yeah. want to wear sweats and a t-shirt. Hey, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Preach. Trashy, but okay. Mm, but yeah. okay. <laughs> Very okay. Yeah. You want, like, a nudie and, like, yeah, we'll yeah, a nice nudie. nudie. <laughs> Uh, like uh, sweatpants and all that. <laughs> oh, somebody just did the flip outside. Oh know. wow! Yeah. So whoever you are, thank you for listening. It's getting crazy <laughs> out here. Yeah, it's getting crazy. We, we probably need to have like public safety and like bouncers outside of the door. Yeah, because it's yeah. a party. Celebrities we had the in lights this room. going. Yeah, we, yeah, we have like the lights, like man, you know, celebrities. Yeah, bump, bump, crazy. and stuff. Yeah. So you just invited everybody <laughs> to Sweeting Four. This is about to get yeah. out. This is about to get crazy. Oh yeah. By the way, if you're coming up here for the game, just show your face. Don't make the flip outside. <laughs> like we're getting like mixed signals now here, we're so. gonna get like 50 people yeah. flipping in the hallway yeah we don't know if you're like tripping and you need like medical help or like you ralph know, we- is a nurse <laughs> he is a nurse he so can help you. okay considerations uh when you're dressing up for every day do you have any like uh are you like oh i'm feeling orange today so you wear like all orange or like <laughs> you know orange is the new black so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, okay um, jesse I guess sometimes I have a temptation to Ooh, a temptation. Be <laughs> not <laughs> 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 Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh man, that's hilarious. Um, yeah. <laughs> Desire. A desire. Right? To, okay. Uh, <laughs> That's not <be> good either. <laughs> 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 no, I can't no. choose any right words. I'm okay. Just, a something. An a something. Okay, so she yeah. has a something. <laughs> 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 Sometimes I feel like <laughs> okay. being lazy and Ooh, wearing okay. only mm. like a sweatshirt, mm. namely okay. a hoodie. Um, a hoodie. A hoodie. <laughs> and. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I try to. But I what I do consider is I try to alternate. Like I don't want to wear more bummy clothes like a bunch of days in a row because then I'll just end up looking like a bum. So okay. I want to like, like one day I wear a sweatshirt okay. and then I'll be like, oh man. Okay. Next day I gotta wear like a floral <laughs> skirt because I love. Floral. Okay, yeah, she loves <laughs> like floral. a nice shirt or something like that. Urban so, floral. Yeah, alternate and stuff like that. Ooh, wow. Okay. Well, so <laughs> yeah, I guess. For me, like some days, I'm I'm like the typical guy. And I'm just the like, typical guy, and I'm just like, oh, this doesn't smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell like bad. that's. I mean, that's I feel a like real thing. that it's is a real, real thing. thing. Yeah. It's a real, real thing. thing. <laughs> like some days, like you just you 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 wake up and you're just yeah. like, I I don't know if I wore this yet, so. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, that's good. good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Like, that's good. Yeah, and, and you can you like just, mask it with like perfume or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Or cologne. I'm a big like. I love hoodies and nudies. Okay. Um, hoodies a, and nudies. I have a bunch of hoodies that can become nudies. Okay. 
and then a bunch of uh, hoodies that are just hoodies. Um, so <laughs> I like doing that. My thing mostly is the shoes. That's my biggest like shoes. Like that's yeah. my biggest like like that's what mm-hmm. I spend the most time on is what shoes will I wear? Because like I I will wear like a black tee, black pants, yeah. and then have like some really like cool shoes on because that's what mm-hmm. I want to like stand yeah. out. So I think like sometimes it's just like okay, what do I want to stand out today? The shoes, the socks, which I. I hope I get to talk about mm-hmm. later. Um, socks. And um, the shoes, the socks, or, you know, like, whatever, the nudie or the shirt or the hoodie that I'm wearing. So, yeah. Ooh. Um, I think for me, this is kind of weird, but um, mine is kind of dependent on, like, whether I want to get up in the morning and do my makeup mm. and, like, look presentable yeah. uh, with my makeup and my hair. Wait, so, hold like, on. It's not automatic? <laughs> no, I am so sorry to that break it to nice. you, but that was good. it's not like you wake up and you don't you're like, wake up oh. like that. It's like, <laughs> what? I'm no. ready to face a day. It's yeah. like, yeah. oh man, oh my gosh. So like, if I don't want to do my makeup or my hair, uh-huh. then I feel like I have to dress cute to like make up for it <laughs> but if i put on makeup it evens out or yes something. <laughs> yes because i don't ever want to look like a total bum so just half of it's one, one or just the half. other just i'm just i'm just like 24 percent of a bum like it's it's not it's, that I, bad i think about that though no it's a real thing a bum. yeah oh my gosh it's, it's not a real that bad. thing <laughs> it's true that's okay hilarious so uh, <laughs> I'm only wow. 51% of a bum today, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's above average. I'm pretty sure there's an app for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's okay. an app for that. Uh, Bethany. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would actually have to agree with Kirsten. Yeah. I mm. do that, too. Um, wow. But for me, it kind of depends. I'm a nanny, so if I'm babysitting okay. that day, it's going to be like a... You know, kind of bummy clothes, but makeup and hair done mm-hmm. kind of day. But if I'm teaching that day, yeah. then I'm going to have to dress <coughs> nice and yeah. not worry as much about my hair. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wow. So, okay. Now I'm interested. What is the definition of bummy to girls? Because mm, for, that's for guys, question. like, hoodie or nudie or, like, sweatpants or, like, gym shorts... I don't think you can wear gym shorts to class, but like that's. And we can't wear sweatpants to class to either. Yeah, and we can't wear to sweatpants to class. In high yeah. school, I used to do that a lot, mm. but obviously. Yeah, never even do that even at the pants. SDR, like there were there was like eight times I went to uh, the SDR in sweatpants. I only got caught once. Wow. So yeah, by this like eagle-eyed girl who's going to re- <laughs> remain unnamed. <laughs> oh, we all know. Uh, we all know. <laughs> we all it's know. the same one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Um. I'm sorry. Did we interrupt you? I'm sorry. No, oh, no, okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Bummy for girls. Like, how do you, like, what do you feel when you feel bummy? And like, when you're wearing <laughs> bummy, how does it look like? Yeah. When I'd, I'd like to wearing know. Wearing bummy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do when you like, embody the yeah. word bummy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. How, how does it, how does it feel like to you girls? Like when, when you feel bummy and what do you wear when you are bummy i guess yeah. uh do you mean like what's the female definition of bummy yes okay uh, and so <laughs> many words <laughs> yeah um sweatpants sweatshirt same as guys even yeah. like okay. jeans and a t-shirt could yeah. feel bummy at yeah. like a place like moody yeah. where people tend yeah. to dress up mm. Mm, okay yeah. yeah go ahead Jessica. way different than in high school mm-hmm. Because in high school, Mm -hmm. the, like, dress code doesn't account for how nicely you dress. It's just, like, you can show up in your pajamas if you want. But at Moody, everyone's like, Mm -hmm. I have to look nice for class, so I'm going to wear skirts and dresses all the time. And so Mm -hmm. then if you wear a t-shirt, you're like, oh, I'm a bum. I'm a bum. (laughs) Okay. So, um, uh... Um, wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm like trying to process that. Like, I'm a bum or something. Because, like, we have a question here, actually, um, from Luke Shoemate. And uh, Luke Shoemate is asking, oh, okay, 50% so bum. Awesome. 50% bum. Is that like 50% hipster? Oh, is that a shot? Is he taking okay. shots at hipsters? Yeah. Whoa. So, like, uh, 50% bum or 50% hipster? So, before you guys answer that, because I know it's, it's like, pretty, you know, interesting uh, to see. We c- uh, we're going to go on a music break. Uh, today So um, Pretty much we don't really have Like any music Like we don't have Like breakup songs Or anything like that We don't want to like Make you depressed Or else you'll feel <laughs> bummy And then you'll start Like <laughs> not wearing makeup So Yeah 
Yeah. So, uh, but when we come back, too we're late. Going <laughs> <laughs> too late. All right. Whoa. But when we come back, we're going to answer uh, Luke Shoemate's question. So, fifty percent bomb is at like fifty percent hipster, and then we're going to be playing our first ever game here at the Letter M. So, here mm. is the showdown with head down only here on the Letter M. Head down, or the showdown with head down, only here on the letter M. So thank you very much again for joining us for uh, Trendy Monday. So i uh, just like to acknowledge our guests. So we have Bethany Bauer, uh, Rob LaLauren, Jamal Hegwood. Hegwood. Yeah, you got H. it. H, yeah, okay. It. <laughs> Kristen Bird and um, Jesse Lenning and our studio audience, uh, Tirza Walker and Amy Davis. So thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we finally got the uh, the mood lighting working here again. Mm. So it's not like bumping like strobe lights. So, yeah. <clears throat> it's feeling good. Okay, man. usually when there's like strobe lights, the first thing I'm worried about is epilepsy. It's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, the show. first thing that goes <laughs> to my mind is party, and like everybody else is just like it's epilepsy. No, that's like I'm just, way at the that's bottom. way down. I'm like, yeah, I, flashing lights. It's like, yeah, no, because like, uh, how do you respond to a guy with epilepsy? Like in nursing school, we were like, oh, just leave him alone, make sure he doesn't hit his head. So don't put the spoon <laughs> oh, in man. his mouth. So yeah, oh. but that's going to be for another episode. So that's another. <laughs> Yeah. The episode on epilepsy. I want to be here for that one too. Yeah. That one's gonna be another good one. Okay, so um, <laughs> okay, so we are playing our very first letter M game. Oh, game, yeah. time? Woo! game time, oh, yeah, Woo! game time. Okay, so uh, the reason why we have our studio audience here is our studio audience and our audience on Facebook and on Twitter would be the judges mm. to see. Mm. It, mm. So. It's it's basically like you know they're, they're judges. So, what is the game going to be? So, you're all here for a reason. Uh, yes. You're all here for a reason. Yes. I was gonna say. <laughs> Are you about to start preaching yeah. to us, bro? Like, <laughs> like, no, it's like, uh, yeah. So, like, this monster is gonna come from heaven, and so no. Okay, so <laughs> okay, that escalated quickly. <laughs> that escalated really quickly. quickly. That's okay. So, this is what the game is about. So, I will be giving you five questions, and you can team up. You have to come up with this on your own. Okay, cool. Pretty much. Cool. So, um, yes. Hi. So, uh, this is uh, David, right? David Kim. So David Kim has just uh, joined us in the studio. He'll be part awesome. of our studio audience. So he's interning for Moody Campus Radio. So uh, um, we've run out of seats, actually. So you can go ahead and uh, get a chair from uh, the bigger sweeting for. So, um, okay. So this is what the game is going to be. So I will be giving you five situations, <clears throat> five very special situations, in which you're going to whip up a full outfit for me. Wow. What? In Do 30 we, wait, seconds. Wait, okay, so is, this is for you? Huh? This no, for, oh, this is for you saying. guys. Okay. No, I'm saying the out is the outfit, outfit for you. For you no, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Hey, guys, guys, <laughs> strictly baby okay. gap. Baby <laughs> gap. <laughs> baby <laughs> gap. Baby gap. I don't know if you'll win, Jamal, if you go with that. I don't know if you'll win. Okay, so I will be giving you 30 seconds. To whip up an outfit for me We're bit. <laughs> during these special, <laughs> special circumstances. Okay. okay. So uh, there are usually like situations with a twist. And our studio audience and our Facebook audience would be the ones who's going to, uh, to judge who made or who put together the best outfit. Let's go. Um, if my any of my family members text me a vote, would that count? Also? Yes. Uh -huh. What? Yeah. Well, you, have no, like, they, you have like I want my family mom members to text listening. Well, that's what I mean. for right me. Now. They have to be fair. Oh, yeah, this is... unbiased. They're going to be fair. Don't worry. All right. Oh, my mom God. still texts me. Okay. So uh, <laughs> I don't know how these guys are going to dress me up. <laughs> But okay, so it, it Wait, has to be me... SLG appropriate, by the way. So, oh, of course. No, no yeah, baby gap. No backlit. Baby gap, yeah. No skirts. No anything. So yeah. Okay. First situation. Okay, and uh, by the way, um, of course, um, while while I'm giving you those uh, thirty seconds, how do you stop this? Oh, there. Okay. So while I'm giving you those thirty seconds, so you'll only have thirty seconds. Uh, during that, that those thirty seconds, this will play. <clears throat> okay. When that music is over, you have to give your creation, pretty much. I got okay. it. Got it? Okay. Yeah. First extraordinary situation. All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
I went into my dorm room. <laughs> okay. They prepared their ear, their headphones. Okay. I went into I went into my dorm room. Okay. And I receive a letter from a girl. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Things get yeah. spicy. Yeah, red okay. alert. My and goodness. this girl says, "Hey, I've what? been thinking about what oh, we she were said talking." Hey? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> for you. I've been thinking about what we were talking about at dinner at the SDR. Mm. Mm. And yes, mm. I will go out for coffee with you. Oh, just On coffee? one condition. That you're going to be dressed up as somebody from the past. Wow. You have uh. to the SDR though? Yeah. Sick. I'm, wow. I'm just like natural no, ladies. Man. Man. If you're no, getting you them in the SDR, you're good. a ladies man. Oh, yeah. Amen. Okay. So date. Coffee date with a girl. <laughs> oh, coffee date it. with a girl. I got coffee it. date with a girl. Yeah. And Big I talked about the Thursday. SDR, but I have to be dressed up as somebody from the past. Oh, I got okay. it. Y'all got it? I got okay. it. Okay. Ready, set, go. All right. Who starts? Okay. I'll start. Okay. You can... oh, no, 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 no. No. Th- th- think about it. Oh, if this is our thinking time. Going on, yeah. Oh, I this is 30 seconds. Come on. 30 oh, seconds I thought it was yeah. like... Jeopardy first like, answer win. Ah, oh no no no! <laughs> <laughs> I, I was all fired up. You were ready. Yeah, you were ready. ready to go. Dang. Oh man, I got it. Yeah, dr- Rob has actually dressed me up in a couple of occasions. Oh That's man, true. I have like twenty different ideas. <laughs> like this, I wish this happened to me. Can some girl who's listening give me this okay. ultimatum, please, <laughs> just so I can do this? Okay. Please. So who wants to, you said you want to go first. No, I lied. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're in Bible college. <laughs> like, okay, so who wants to go I'll, first? I think I'll go. Okay, Jamal. Now, when you say, like, we have to tell you, like, I mean, you said as someone from the past, can I just tell you who from the past? Um, I guess I'm scared now. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I was thinking, I had a few different things, but mm-hmm. she said someone from the past, mm-hmm. so I was thinking, like, you could you could go either... You could go either a Michael Jackson thriller, <laughs> red leather jacket. Man, you stole Then mine. you go, like, that would be awesome with the white socks. <laughs> or okay. if you want to be classy, if you want to okay. be classy, you can go Michael Jackson smooth criminal with the white fedora, <laughs> white suit. And I then like you have to you have to do the smooth criminal uh-huh. lean though, like uh-huh. when when she's going to sit down, yeah. like you gotta you gotta move yeah. in on her like that. <laughs> it's like yeah. hey baby girl, yeah. <laughs> and then no no no, you move okay. in, and then like she thinks okay. you're gonna kiss her, and then you just like come back like uh no. On the first Whoa. date, SLG, I don't, I don't, don't want to get fined seventy five dollars. Boom. Okay, <laughs> okay. So Jamal, so that's Jamal. It's like Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Okay. Right. So initially, I went okay, way Rob. back, probably too far. I went mm-hmm. biblical. Oh. And, then I, well, and then I'm like... Wait, I'm, I'm interested to hear who this... Okay, so... Wait, I, I want to hear well, this. Well, the reason I was going to stick with biblical, but then I'm like, they kind like they wore robes and stuff and his tunics, <laughs> and he already said no to the, 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 the skirts, and I was like, I didn't know what to do, so I moved forward, and then right. I was thinking like a pirate, and then I'm like, that's weird. It's not Halloween anymore. So I moved on from there, and then I was like... Mm-hmm. What if he just dressed like a classy U.S. president? And who okay. is classier? Oh, I'm scared of this. Come on, <laughs> than Mr. John. Come on, Kennedy. yes. Oh yeah, yes. Classiest president okay. we've ever. Oh had. man. So, Classiest so president, president. Okay. John Kennedy. John Kennedy. May okay. he rest in peace. Mm. That's for you. Mm. you I'm, yeah. I'm thinking like. Gray suit, nice yeah. skinny tie. For coffee, like, oh, I look have at, skinny oh, ties. and you'll yeah. you'll be looking. It'll be like mm-hmm. a nice, like intelligentsia, okay. classy, like coffee place. Intelligentsia. Oh, okay, intelligentsia. Okay, so Michael Jackson, John F. Kennedy. So who wants to go next? Okay. Okay, Christine. I went with a time frame. Is that okay? Instead of like a person. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking like the 20s, mm. like Ooh. with the. Um, like the slacks and the the white button up shirt with mm. like the sleeves Ooh. rolled up Ooh. and like um, oh suspenders yes yes suspenders. Oh, like Whoa, that's okay. what I'm thinking <laughs> all right so I'm thinking like Gatsby yeah yeah, ah. yeah oh Gatsby. is that okay so I that like are you that. Are, so is that what you want a guy to wear when you go out to coffee I love the twenties. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, keep that going. <laughs> no, it's keep that going. Keep that going. Right. Get the strobe right. lights back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you guys to get epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Why do we keep coming back to epilepsy? Like oh this is goodness. trendy Monday and epilepsy. <laughs> like oh my god! <laughs> Sometimes when you're just like really stylish, you just sees. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so uh, who wants to go next? Bethany, Jesse? Um, yeah, okay, I'll Bethany. go for it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking more casual. <clears throat> casual, okay. It's just a coffee day. You don't want to figure okay. out. Um, okay. So I was thinking kind of like. 50s, like teenage 50s, like jeans right. rolled up a little bit, Ooh. like sleeves rolled up on okay. your nice button down uh-huh. shirt. Just keeping it, you know, mm-hmm. classy but casual. Okay. That's what I would go so like Classy but casual to Isn't Isn't that, wasn't, yes. wasn't that okay. your two words? Classy and casual? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Come on. Also, her style coming yeah, out to advise somebody who, who's in need. That doesn't, that doesn't get you <laughs> yeah. extra points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because sometimes there are like emergencies and... That's going to be question number two, actually. It's an emergency. So, okay, Jesse, oh, before we go yeah. to question number two. Okay. Yeah. She's cheating. <laughs> she's. Are you <laughs> cheating? <laughs> I'm looking up some pictures. Okay. Okay, she's looking this up some is pictures. Hard. I don't know. <laughs> I actually am really bad. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> are you Are you eliminating yourself from the yeah. game already? Yeah, You're not this, helping this yourself. question. Can't I'm, do not, that. I'm not going to win. I'm not going to win this question. I don't know. I'm like. I do not know fashion from the past well, and I mm-hmm. don't know like time eras okay. very well, which I need to get better at. But I don't know. One, I was thinking Michael Jackson, mm-hmm. but Jamal stole mine, so okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I mm. guess mm, I could say like Elvis. Whoa. Elvis. That's, That's a I, that good one. That was my one. second choice. Elvis. That's a yeah. really good one. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. His hair All was pretty up. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was. Right. I was also thinking like, what? What about like? I mean, you could totally. Kill mm-hmm. it with like a caveman look, you know? Right. Like, yeah, we're going way yeah, back. Yeah, just go way yeah. back and be okay. like, and be like, you asked yeah, for rugged. it, boom. You'll be a caveman. Caveman. <laughs> caveman. Me, okay. you, coffee, now. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. Well, that's very masculine. <laughs> 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 right, I, I yeah. will. I will do that pickup line. Hey. Me too. Coffee, no. I, I'd say no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Okay, so for our studio audience, okay, so for our studio audience and for our Facebook audience, so we're going to be, uh, so I'd like you to choose, uh, basically, um, who wins a certain round. But you're not going to let me know, uh, like, for every round. So you'll just, like, um, how do we do this? Um, okay, get a piece of paper. If you have a piece of paper. I should have, like, said this, like, before. Yeah. Okay, so uh, get a piece of paper. Go mark it like one, two, three, eight, four, and five. So those are like the questions that you have, and then write down the choice. Like uh, write down the name of the person whose outfit you liked the most, pretty much. So uh, Tirza and Amy will be doing <coughs> Mine. that. Yes, and then at the end of the game, you you guys can go ahead and uh, and submit the papers to me, or um, if you're listening. Uh, you know, if you're listening to us online, you can go to our Facebook page or our Twitter page. So Facebook, the letter M dot, dot M C R or hey, Twitter Mom, page. Listen to this part. Yeah, yeah listen. The letter listen M on M C R and <laughs> submit. Listen. Like, who are the people that um, you know? Who are, who are the people in each question who you think gave the best? Hey, uh, fashion if you guys advice? need help yeah. spelling my name, it's simply J A M A L. Don't write that one. Just so you <laughs> can put write. that down. Okay. Oh my gosh, you're getting really competitive siblings. down here. Yeah. I know you're it's listening. Like, oh my Come on. Aunts, uncle. <laughs> no, I thought listening. you said they Rob weren't. Yeah, I thought you said like they like weren't biased, biased Jesse. Oh, oh my god. They should comment, not for me, just in general. <laughs> Okay, so question number one is already out there. Okay, right. question number two. Now, this is not for me. Uh, this oh, is going man. to be not for, for you. Not this oh. is not for me anymore. So, okay, are the other ones for you? No, 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 oh, no. Just, oh. just as one question. So, oh, come on. Th- these oh, are the so questions. someone. Oh, yeah. okay. oh, shoot. Whoa. I got what Jamal. I thinking. yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There. So next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's not like oh hey there kind of thing. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. So our next question, um, so this is not going to be for me. This is going to be for a senior woman. Mm. So, I mean, senior as in like fourth Sen- year college, not oh, senior like oh, know, elderly. I was uh, thinking like, yeah. I was, I was thinking, I was like, thinking like, okay. old. like Jenkins. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moody girl about to go to JSB. Junior senior banquet. Okay. So she's got her red dress on already, right. and she's like ready to go. So she's shredding her stuff, and she's walking by um, Michigan Avenue. Then the inevitable happens. No. A Bum. painter was painting oh. a window on a scaffolding, and the minute she walked under the scaffolding, the paint splatters all over her red dress. No. Mind you, JSB. JSB is about to start in like 30 minutes. That's Gets important. Gets paint splattered That's, yeah. all over her dress. That's big. She needs to change her dress. So she goes back to Moody and goes back in her closet. Closet. So, fashion experts, <clears throat> what do you think would be the best 
dress that you could come up what? from her closet. What's in her closet? Like, moody closet. Okay, what's in her closet? Okay, so here are the things in her closet. So there's an assortment of like coats, long coats. So uh, short color, coats. it's up to short you guys. Coats, medium yeah. coats, long <laughs> coats, coats, short coats. Remember, JSB happens in the winter, so she has coats. Um, she has cocktail dresses, um, or just just one cocktail dress. It's up to you what kind Whoa. of like dress it is. Ah. Um, she also has um, blazers, oh. blouses, mm. and very long skirts. Okay. Okay. All right. So she goes to Moody. Yeah, yeah, so she basically. goes to Moody pretty much. Yeah. So I mean, you can wear like a, a paint splattered like red dress, right? So, what kind of outfit are you going to have this girl wear for JSB? Now that JSB is going to be starting in thirty minutes, and her red dress is pretty much trashed. Clarification for listeners: JSB Junior Senior Banquet. It's so like that's a like dance our prom type of thing, except they don't dance. We don't dance. We just eat. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. Like fancy dress up, eat nice food, don't yeah. dance. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Although, yeah. like after, like after, uh, after JSB, we usually go to the Drake to dance. Whoa! You yeah. Spontaneously. Why would you say that? Dance. Spontaneously. Yeah. Spontaneously. Okay. Ready? Go. All right, I got my ding. No, I, 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 I gotta it. wait. I was oh so god. ready. I was so ready, guys. You I gotta had wait. Mine. Oh my god. Um, oh, I'm fired up for my <laughs> listeners. Be ready to vote for right. Rob. That's R O B. Get ready. If anything, you need to be ready to vote for it tomorrow. She only has one dress. One more. You said she has one cocktail dress. That's one cocktail. Dress. You weren't yeah. paying attention, Jesse. Yeah. All right, I was, but I was I'm taking my turn she only first. Has one dress. Okay, so right. only one dress. Okay. She only has one dress. Here we go. All right, it's like left in her closet. As it's mentioned not like earlier, paint splattered. Yeah, several of the women on this show have mm-hmm. announced to mm-hmm. the rest of the listening world yeah. that here at Moody, you will live on a dorm floor with a bunch oh. of women. Mm-hmm. So you go raid your Whoa! best friends. <laughs> I do not. No. So you, uh, you go to your best friend who's super stylish, <laughs> and she got all the dresses. That's against you the rules. You hit her up. No, no. It's her no, closet, no. Rob. We didn't say there was <laughs> her nothing. closet. So you go to Rob. Your the guideline said closet, <laughs> and you find the most spectacular dress. Like I'm talking Cinderella stuff here. Oh like, my! You show Rob. Up, Rob. There. You you have the night of your life. That's like saying her fairy godmother comes into Fa- the room. I'm the fairy god. I came through for her, <laughs> and now she, she's she's oh. had the best night of her life. Hey, oh, oh, Rob is a fairy that. godmother. Oh gosh, <laughs> and you know I'm okay. gonna call you that from now no, on, no. fairy <laughs> godmother. Okay, I'm gonna be a little more realistic. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank that was you. realistic. Uh, Thank you. Okay, so, uh, Luke Shoemate says your comments are priceless right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris. Thanks, Luke. Okay, so being a little more realistic. So no one on the floor is probably gonna have a Cinderella dress. So yeah. you never know. <laughs> here's, here's um, here's your go-to when you're in an emergency and mm-hmm. you just need a go-to like dressy outfit. Mm-hmm. Black cocktail dress. You always Ooh. have a black cocktail the dress LBD. on hand. Yeah. Um. So black cocktail dress. Dress it up with some silver jewelry. Um. And you can put even like a like I have a, like a jean blazer with it. Um, just to kind of like add a little extra, Mm. but yep. Um, question. That's my go-to. Yeah. Van, did you just say LBD? Little black dress. You've been watching way too many (laughs) romantic. Who are you right now? No, because like that's what they always wear in (laughs) like romantic comedies. LBD. Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany. Oh, that movie's so good. It's a classic. Yeah, I think we watched it like. Yeah. Oh, we. Oh yeah. Did we watch it like Valentine's Day? No, we yeah. watch Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, Day. we watch Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day. And then we watch When Harry Met Sally. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> we were... <laughs> <laughs> that was just okay. a little moment that me and the host were having. That was our little moment. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Just, just, just remember to yeah. vote for me, Rob, R-O-B. <laughs> no, your I- right. yours was bad. <laughs> so, who's who's next? I'll go. Okay, Jamal. Um... <laughs> Um. I, okay. So she's she's at her closet. She's looking in there. I'm mm. thinking. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm thinking. How are you gonna dress up this girl? You take, um, the cocktail dress. I wouldn't go black, even though I, black is my favorite color, and I'm tempted to do that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to say that I would go, um, mm-hmm. with like a nice, um, uh, a white. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the blazer. This I isn't would, a wedding, Jamal. I would sh- <laughs> shush up! Shush your mouth! 
Okay, this isn't a fairy tale. Okay, <laughs> it is for some people. JSB is is it is to me, Jamal. Oh, it is, it to, is me. to me. <laughs> um. Um, I would go really simple, like just the black cocktail dress, and then probably throw like a. I mean, no, I, I mean white, white cocktail dress. Sorry, white um, cocktail with dress with a black Don't blazer. Vote. That's what I want to say. Yeah, just super simple, you know. Okay. Sometimes simple is better. Because not, remember, she only has like thirty minutes. Yeah, she, she goes to thirty the ball. minutes. Yeah, dude, come on, you can't be Cinderella in thirty minutes. What do you mean, like? All we all we need is twenty nine. <laughs> <That's> all, <we laughs> <need. laughs> all right, Bethany. <laughs> all right. Well, honestly, if it were me, mm-hmm. I would go just in my red paint splatter dress. Oh, Ooh, because oh. that is an excellent conversation starter. Oh. Okay, and you would get so much attention at JSB. And Ooh. honestly, that's the way to go in this okay. situation. Is that the right attention though? Is no, that the right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not. Mm. I don't know if I'm following. Wow, that Bethany B T H A. That was clever and smart. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Bethany paint splattered. Rob, whip up a Cinderella dress from your like friend's wardrobe. Jamal, it's like uh, dress and then black. The, yeah, white blazer. dress. Yeah, white dress. Black. black yeah, it sounds like Carrie Washington from Scandal. Yeah. Yeah. In, ooh, Hashtag we all want to be Olivia Pope. Come on now. Yeah. So okay, and then and then Kirsten is um, <clears throat> uh, so the she bla- has a blazer the- with the LBD. Okay, yeah. so um, Jesse, yes, yes. <laughs> How are you dressing up this girl in thirty minutes for the JSB? I would go with the one color dress, but mm-hmm. I would not do black or white. Mm-hmm. I I don't like black or white dresses generally. Uh-huh. Um, it would probably be. Mm, like a really pretty mm-hmm. aqua or mint color. Aqua I really or mint like color. So mint blue. Type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, not just no, no. That's not just no. Not just no. plain You're blue. Such a guy. No. That's right. <laughs> right, right, right. Blue. Not green. No, no, no green. Not blue. green. Not blue. Aqua or mint, maybe, or like lavender. Ooh, oh yes, my. it's like winter. So purple. So maybe purple. Like a lavender. <laughs> no, no, no. No, not purple. <laughs> lavender. Purple. <laughs> No. It's <laughs> okay. It's a really pretty light purple color. You know, you guys All right. know what I mean. Purple. Purple. Okay, so purple. purple that's Lavender. been through the washer a couple of times. Lavender. So it's a purple dress that, that's been through the washer a couple of times. It's, it's faded a little bit. Okay, so Jessie, uh, she would like a lavender or an aqua or mint dress pretty much okay so that's question number two for all of you listeners out there go ahead and write your vote on question number J-A-M-A-L-J-A-M-A-L-J-A-M-A-L-J-A-M-A-L-J-A-M-A-L-J-A-M-A-L-J-A-M-A-L-J-A-M-A-L-J-A-M-A-L-J-A-M-A-L-
baddest Jordans that I have. Oh, you oh, too. No, I knew I should have gone first. Jordans <laughs> oh, that I man, have I was gonna f- in my oh. closet. Okay. I mean, like some Concords, yeah. some yeah. Gamma Blues, like some like just something that's just like some of the baddest ones that I okay. got. Like that will gain like all the little kids to just be like, oh my God, where are you getting it from? He's and I'm right. like, He's dog, right. I'm telling you, you know that. You know this, man. All right. So simple, but the Jeans shoes are what, are what, are what right. get them. So this is Jamal's. Okay. Yeah. Who wants to go next? Okay, Rob. All right. <laughs> I also as well, likewise, <laughs> am going to uh, go to the same PCM with Jamal. Yeah. And I'm going to wear- We'll just go, to get, we'll go together. I'm going to go wear my my Jordans as well. <laughs> but here here's- Here's the difference. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bring some, like, Jordans straight out of, like, the first edition. Yeah, right that, out that'll of be what's the difference. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Michael Jordan signed mine, obviously. Oh, stop it. Oh! Stop it. <laughs> my jeans are uh, nicer than Jamal's. Oh. <laughs> and my hoodie is cleaner. I didn't just smell it, and it smelled all right. I cleaned it. <laughs> and so everyone's like, Jamal's cool, but, but Rob's... Cooler. Come on now, dog. Oh my god! No, so, see, so, uh, see, what? Which which yeah. ones would you have? Which which Jordans would you have? Well, I the the, <laughs> the red ones. I'm the Nike. See, on I would them. I would go with the Concord Elevens. The Concord Elevens. Okay, okay. You, you might want to post a picture of that. Um, those are pretty <laughs> sexy right there. Oh, can I say that? It's fine, yeah. Okay, my bad. Those are very okay, nice. We're talking about shoes. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. those those are very nice. We're not nice. talking about people. We're talking about um, shoes. So yeah. Sorry about that, people. I <laughs> hope I didn't offend anyone <laughs> talking about my shoes. Um, but but yeah, those ones there. I think that'll give me the win. If you, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a picture so people can see. All right. So uh, who wants to go next, Bethany? Oh. All right. Yeah, sure. Well, um, I was kind of just thinking like a nice black V-neck. Nice um, black V-neck. Yeah, okay. like a beanie, cardigan, mm-hmm. jeans. I didn't think about the shoes like these guys did. Know, right? Probably because I'm not a guy. So just <laughs> anything. It's more about the mm. attitude with kids. Yeah. Not oh, the shoes. Oh, 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 it's all about the shoes. Stop okay. it. It is all about the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Jesse, why don't you go to, uh, next? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's harder for girls because if we wore those same types of shoes, it would look more weird on us and would make our feet look really big, which mm-hmm. is just weird. Um, yeah. But if I were a guy, I would have said, like, Robin Jamal's answer, but I'm not, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I would just kind of go with something that I would normally wear, just like jeans, like mm-hmm. a chill shirt. That Jeans, whole, like, chill shirt. urban okay. style thing. Like, I think that will work well. Okay. Ooh, urban can I style. add an amendment to mine? I brought okay. a basketball, so everyone... Oh, <laughs> stop it! Stop it! So everyone stop loves it. me. Uh, it's all about the relationships. You don't even move. <laughs> you don't even move. I was on the freshman <laughs> basketball team. You don't even move. I made the team. I didn't play much, <laughs> but I was on the team. I own a basketball somewhere. Mom, go find it. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. I would bring a basketball too when I actually play basketball, and I Dang have some pretty sick oh basketball shoes that I could bring. So are you these know. people are getting really competitive? <laughs> Come oh. on, people! Okay, okay. okay. Kirsten, so, you guys are cheating. Kirsten. If so, anybody's a hooper, it's me. I am not. Man, I hate answering questions about like guys' fashion because I feel like you guys have so much like fewer options than we do. Um, so it makes it hard. That but is true. Uh, yeah, I would probably say um, like uh, just a black like t-shirt okay um mm-hmm. with um i don't know you could do either jeans or mm-hmm. sweatpants but i would say probably jeans okay um and like kind of just like a, a little bit of like a baggy coat like maybe black or like even like a like a camo green color like camo green um okay. but yeah and then like a beanie oh, okay so yeah. that's what they're going to be wearing so uh uh, when you guys are done, so Tirza and Amy, our studio audience, and if uh, for, for the people who are listening, if you are done, so just uh, just give it to me, or if you're on Facebook or Twitter, just uh, tweet it or send it to us um, through our timeline, and we're going to announce the winner of our game. Can at I? The end can of I? J a m a l. No, no, you can't just paint your pain for a minute. No, my no, okay, no, no, no. Here's what you need to understand, Rob. Rob. They're not the most practical things, but they they are 
No, no. <laughs> Just vote for me. No. <laughs> Please. J A M A L. There's Rob, a link. R O B. There is a link okay. to the picture of Concords on the letter M page, um, so you can see how beautiful those shoes are. Okay. Um, so J A M A L. The election for tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> It's not the elections today. It's the elections are tomorrow. So, <laughs> okay. So Amy and Tears have sur- submitted their uh, their votes. So uh, All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to uh, announce the winner of the game because we're still going to be waiting from like uh, our Facebook um, page and our Twitter page. Okay. So uh, I'd like to. Uh, <laughs> Can I go on Facebook and vote for myself? Uh, no, you can't. <laughs> Wait, Van. Van. Can I just yeah. make one comment right now? All right. I am loving Luke's participation <laughs> in tonight's show. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Luke. This is hilarious. Yeah, Luke Schumade <laughs> has been listening to uh, the letter M. Okay, so we have a question from, uh, is it Sissy? Sissy Lenning. Sissy. Okay, Sissy Lenning. My and, sister. Yes, and Sissy uh, asks, so I guess there's like some international flavor to it. So um, what culture's clothes, mm. um, hold on, let me. I, I lost that. Okay, what culture's clothes do you like the most and why? Mm. Huh. Like, are we talking like? No, just kidding. Oh, I was gonna say this is one of the. <laughs> no, rock okay. it again. Dang, dang it. <laughs> Keep jumping the gun. Oh man. All right. So like, what? what? So there's no voting involved. I don't. No, no, no. Th- th- this is a question. This is okay. not part of the game anymore. The game okay. is over, by the way. Okay. Rob is trying to get all the points he can <laughs> right now. R O B. Don't spell it. This point, everyone. Okay. No, I. Right. I think. Go ahead. I was in Europe this past summer, and yeah. like some of the people, like I was in Copenhagen, Denmark during their uh-huh. fashion week. Yeah. And I was like, I thought I was dressed nice. I I looked, I looked bummy. <laughs> like, these people were so classy and like. I was like, oh my goodness, everyone looked like a model, and I was just like, man, everyone I should like just go model. sit in the gutter. Uh-huh. Um, but I didn't, it's <laughs> but fine. But you didn't, that's good. It's fine, it's I kept good that you around. Didn't. No, it was, it was fun, but I was like, so definitely, maybe the Europeans, they, they got something going for them as far as fashion. For Ooh. sure. The thing with the Europeans is like they're always like a few years ahead of us, so their trends like yeah. come to us eventually, and then we're like, Oh, like this is so cool, but we're so late. Like they were like, "Dub, we've been doing this for years." Uh, yeah. Uh huh. So like skirts, yeah, they've been doing that for years for guys. Yeah, men <laughs> men wearing skirts have been. Yeah. That's the thing over there. They they yelled at me for not wearing a skirt over there. Like, I was the weird guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, Jesse, I have. Sure? Europe, Wisconsin. Love it. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> I'm I'm from Europe, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Everyone, if, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, which culture's clothes? Yeah, uh, you like the most? Um, well, Cisai, my sister, and most of my other siblings, except for one of my brothers, are Ethiopian, and yeah. so obviously I have a bias um, for Ethiopian clothing. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful, gorgeous. Yeah. I can post a picture. Um, of some examples soon but yes definitely Mm -hmm. Ethiopian clothes beautifully made just Mm -hmm. yeah fantastic gorgeous oh wow okay um and uh oh my gosh we're running out of time so I guess I'll just hop on to like our our application uh thing so y'all know that apparently as Christians uh we have a standard of Dressing up, pretty much. That's kind of like uh, inherent in our culture. Um, over the past week, when I was like looking up uh, things to post here uh, on the letter M, I came across this website called Christian Fashion Week. Apparently, it's a thing where like Christians <laughs> would actually have their own fashion week. Wow! And like their their focus on the fashion week is um, modest clothing. So it's mm. like you're all like covered up and all that. So. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> what? Like how covered? See, wait, like, I gotta see some pictures of these. Okay, like. y- okay, you can go to our uh, to our page at the letter M uh, dot MCR on Facebook. So for you guys, uh, being uh, our future ministry leaders at the Moody Bible Institute, um, what are like some of the things that you think of when people ask you um, how do Christian how should Christians dress up? Like, what are like some of the things that you w- you would tell them, or what are some of the things that you would like write about when people ask you that question? Well, I I personally feel like well, I gotta pull up this Christian fact <laughs> real quick. See some of Jamal is going to be like participating in next um, year. Right? No. Um, 
I feel like for some of us, like, well, for the the church in general, like, like clothing mm-hmm. and the way we dress is like huge because anytime you invite somebody to your church, it's just like, oh, how should I dress? You know, like that's that's a, yeah. it's a, it's a big thing. Um, but I feel like there's this new wave of people who have the belief of like, oh, you can be Christian and still look good. You can be Christian and still be trendy. You can be Christian and mm-hmm. and and still wear, you know, like like trendy like nice clothes but then you also have to keep in mind that i mean i think rob brought it up earlier there is a line that that has to be drawn you know because if we say that we're christians um you know we can look good but we have to look good and also understand that we can't we can't cross that line so um i mean i would just say you know um if anybody asks me about like how do you dress as a christian i would just say hey I dress I dress nice. I look good. I I guess I'm trendy, but you know, I do know where the line is. So, yeah, I think that would that would be something. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Um what about you guys, other sir? Yeah, do you have like anything that you would like say to somebody when somebody asks you, "How should a Christian dress?" Yeah, Rob. Well, I was <laughs> thinking like a long sleeve t-shirt that uh, also goes to a hoodie and it just says <laughs> modest is hottest <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and bold letters um, no that was that was a joke jokes everyone <laughs> you gotta have, you gotta have um, a Christian tea no um, I think that there is this kind of new surge in Christian culture kind of as Jamal mm-hmm. was yeah. alluding to that Young Christians realize, oh, I don't need to wear a suit and tie mm-hmm. or whatever yeah. to church. Rather, I can come as I am and mm-hmm. um, I can wear what I want and I can look mm-hmm. good or I can look like a bum because ultimately yeah. it doesn't matter because mm-hmm. that's not what the Lord looks like mm-hmm. anyways. Yeah. Um, so whether you're wearing your modest is hottest t-shirt or <laughs> you're wearing your, your summer Jordans, camp t-shirt. Yeah. And, and it just <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> as long as you actually are modest. What, Van, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm, I Googled Christian fashion week. Yeah. Oh, no. y- you saw some, it? some of these pictures are not modest at all. <laughs> this is, this is bananas right here. Like. Yeah. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of skin, and and this is supposed to be Christian Fashion Week. I mean, look at this here. Yeah, this. I don't know. I mean, some of them are not this from the is... actual site, so some of them are just like you know they have just they just have like t- tags. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, Kirsten, I think that modesty gets a bad rep too. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. that's one thing I want to touch on is like. When people think modest, like Rob said, they do think of like the over the head, like up turtleneck, like that sort of a thing. And that's Jeez, really not skirt. what it needs to be. Like mm. you can still be fashionable and be modest. Yeah. And um, yeah, like honestly, like modesty is different for every person mm-hmm. too and every different yeah. body type. So like mm-hmm. it's a very subjective thing, but um, yeah. like you just got to test it with like the Lord and um, mm-hmm. it sounds cheesy, but like it's true. Like mm-hmm. just be like in communication with like yourself and God mm-hmm. and like questioning like am I good like okay I'm good yeah. and mm-hmm. after that it doesn't really matter <clears throat> wow okay uh, Bethany um, somebody asked like how does a Christian dress up yeah I would kind of have to agree with Kirsten on that um, just kind of whatever <clears throat> brings glory to God mm-hmm. um, I think it's a lot harder for girls yeah um, and yeah it kind of just depends on your body type mainly yeah I don't know how I feel about having like certain rigid rules just because mm-hmm. everyone looks different in everything yeah. they wear. So yeah, that's kind of a big thing between you and God. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's between you and God. So okay, uh, Jesse. Can you rephrase the question again? Okay, so uh, the question is: um, when somebody asks you, like, how should a Christian dress? What are you going to tell that person? Like, how do you think should a Christian dress? Pretty much. Oh, that's like, yeah, that's a very, I feel like very broad. Mm-hmm. So more difficult. Yeah. Um, a Christian girl? A uh, Christian girl, Christian guy, pretty much. So Christian in general, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess it, probably, I 
it always pertains more to girls. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. Generally, when they say, how should a Christian dress, no one's thinking, like, oh, yeah, we got to make sure guys' shorts are long enough or something crazy like yeah. that. Although at Moody, I've seen there's some kind of short standard. shorts, and well, it's yeah. weird, but that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've seen some guys when I'm like, oh, it's, is that it in crosses the, is the that, line. Yeah, like, SLG, what? Yeah. I never thought mm-hmm. that this would happen, but it did. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, just yeah, like but, biblically. Yeah. Well, mm, yeah. I like it how you acknowledge the, uh, the double standard. It's, when you're asking this question, it mostly pertains to, to women. Mm-hmm. And like, it's, well, it's, it's actually, true. I would, I would have to like, <clears throat> like, I would have to say that like, it, it, it does pertain to women, but like mm-hmm. guys, well, in, from my background, mm-hmm. guys get it as well yeah. because I came from the background of like you know everything has like churches, you know suit and tie, mm-hmm. and then for women, you know it's like it's mm-hmm. you know like they have to dress up really nice and everything. Yeah, and so like when I go back and I have like my skinny jeans and like you know I'm not in a suit and tie, mm-hmm. I'm getting looked at crazy, you know, yeah. because it's not that. You know, it's not that that straight and narrow. Mm-hmm. You know, they think that I'm, you know, I'm crossing over. Yeah. Or it's also because a lot of people feel like mm-hmm. if I wear certain things, it's not, you know, manly or you know, it's not, you know, it's yeah. not. A, it doesn't look a certain way, mm-hmm. you know. And so I feel like I feel like in certain circles, guys get it as well. Yeah. Um, and it mm-hmm. might not seem as it, you know, it might not seem as if mm-hmm. it's as big as women, but yeah, you know, it, it, which it's not, but we still do. Mm-hmm. Um have to deal with you know having yeah. to answer questions mm-hmm. to you know what we choose to wear and when we choose to wear it yeah i got kicked out of solheim one time uh because i was wearing like a wife beater like in the weight room <laughs> <laughs> trying to show off then like no i ran out of clothes off, i didn't girls. do my laundry oh, my goodness. so like so yeah so even though there's a double standard yeah guys still get that so anyways we are running out of time but if you would like to continue this conversation online we would be very much welcome for that so what would you tell somebody if you're asking uh if you're asking us like how should the christian dress just uh just let us know on our facebook page at the letter m dot mcr or on our twitter page at the letter m on mcr so um thank you very much guys for joining us uh the people uh who's going to come here for the next show already, like uh, outside flipping. So um, <laughs> so um, next show after us would be Recon. So it's our current afu- uh, current afu- current affair show. <laughs> it's a funi futi atoll something. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's with Andy, Chris, and Nathan. So before we end, I would like to announce the winner for each round. So we've received like um, four votes pretty much. So for the first one, it was overwhelmingly Rob. What? So they like Ooh. they like his James you guys are like Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Our second. Um. It was it was pretty tight. It was like between Rob, Jamal, and Bethany, and uh, Rob. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Thank you. No. Audience. Okay. okay and you. what? <laughs> and our third. It's a tie between. Kirsten and Jamal. No. Okay. A tie? A tie. A tie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much for playing our game. And I, I, I mean, this has been like a really extraordinary night. So thank you very much, Bethany, Rob, Jamal, Kirsten, and Jesse for guessing. And thank you very much for Tirza and Amy. Who uh, stayed here as our studio audience. So thank you very much. So uh, that has been Trendy Monday. Again, if you would like to continue that conversation, how should we dress up as Christians? You can go to our Facebook page at the letter M dot MCR or on our Twitter page at the letter M on MCR. So next week, the letter M is not going to be on because I am crossing over with Retro Affairs with Josh Siri. So don't go online on Monday to listen to the letter M. Instead, go on Tuesday at 10 p.m. to listen to Josh Siri and Van Farrow in Retro Affairs. So I'll be posting links on that on our website and... And on our Facebook page. So thank you very much for joining us. And um, well, I just like to leave you with this song. It's by Skillet. Skillet. That's a weird name for a band, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Here's Skillet with American Noise, only here on the letter M on Moody Campus Radio. Thank you very much and have a good night.